recently arrived to Iraq from New York City to join the millions of pilgrims on the pilgrimage of the day of Arba'in. I started my pilgrimage at the Holy Shrine of Imam Ali, peace be upon him. Truth be told, when I entered his holy shrine, I noticed things that I couldn't make sense of. The waving flags that were everywhere drew my attention big time, and this in turn made me zealous to receive one as a gift from the gifts and the contribution section of Imam Ali Holy Shrine. I paid homage and bid my farewells to Imam Ali, peace be upon him, and then headed toward the holy city of Karbala. As soon as I left the shrine, I came across an exhibit. I liked the exhibit and its artworks. At first, I didn't know what it was for. Then a number of people explained to me what the exhibit was about. I headed to Karbala among the big crowd with a flag in my hand. The crowd consisted of men, women, children, and elders. Everyone in this place is doing their best to serve the pilgrims of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, including the children and elders, for free. I wondered why they would possibly do that. Also, what drew my attention was an old man who volunteered in sweeping and cleaning the floor of the street. This gave me the impression of the cleanliness of the city and the pilgrims. On our way here, we have come across many people who are serving food, providing life necessities and facilities for the pilgrims. At first glance, I thought they do it for money, but I was surprised that they were distributing them for free, out of the love of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him. I kept moving. All of a sudden, I came across a person who was distributing water with another man to the pilgrims. When he saw me carrying the flag, he asked me, where are you from? I was so surprised when he told me he was from New York City. So I asked him to come with me to the holy city of Karbala, and he did. My friend got a flag similar to mine and followed me. We have seen many flags with various writings on them. We only understood the writings which said the name of Imam Hussein. We passed by a place where some people were performing a symbolic act as they were hitting the women and children, one of whom was an ill person, and there were people crying among the crowd. We did not understand the meaning of these acts at the time. After that, we continued our way to the holy city of Karbala. People would give away food for free all day long. At midnight, people slept out in the open peacefully.
We have seen camps opening their doors for the pilgrims and providing them with food and water supplies and places to perform prayer and even to sleep. My friend and I were invited to have lunch and spend the night inside the camp. I lost my friend in one of the crowded checkpoints, so I tried to find him, but it was no use. Therefore, I decided to keep moving and search for him on my way to Karbala. When I arrived to the holy city of Karbala, I saw many people mentioning the name of Imam Hussein and performing rituals such as chest beating and shedding tears for Imam Hussein. So I mingled with them. When I arrived to the area between the shrines of Imam Hussein and his brother Hazrat Abbas, someone called my name from behind. When I turned back, I saw my friend. I realized then that the shrine of Imam Hussein, peace be upon him, is the ark in which all of his lovers and companions gather.